Hello friends, this is a very important message. It is May 8th, 2010. We're trying to avert a tragedy and a possible trigger for serious race war in the United States, something the establishment has been stoking and preparing for decades. Whether he knows it or not, Robert Rodriguez, I would say it's a 90% chance right now, is going to trigger racial riots and racial killings in the United States with the September release of his film, Machete. And he's not a stupid guy. He's made tens of millions of dollars. He's a talented director. I've been a fan of some of his productions. And I understand that he thinks this is going to become a big firestorm and a flashpoint that he'll get all this attention and make all this money and be seen as a political director. Uh, you made one big miscalculation. When you had the star of your film, Machete, in the trailer you released on Cinco de Mayo, say, this is a message on Cinco de Mayo for Arizona. When you did that, it no longer became art and political speech. It became a call for violence, a call for racial warfare and death. This is Machete with a special Cinco de Mayo message to Arizona. A few days ago on Cinco de Mayo, I was sent a video clip, the trailer for a new film called Machete by Robert Rodriguez, who's a very accomplished, talented filmmaker, and I've been a fan of quite a few of his films and even met him a few times. And I watched it, and it just blew me away. Whites are all racist, and armies of Mexicans with machetes, and they march out and kill the white people, and the white people are the bad guys, and the white people make racial comments like, I'm going to get that Mexican. Well, this cucaracha has got AK-47s. And then to see that Mexican dance the bolero at the end of a rope. And so you got Mexicans killing cops, Mexicans trying to carry out assassinations of politicians. I mean, it's just crazy, this image and this message. When I saw the trailer on Cinco de Mayo for his new film, Machete, I was concerned. I was shocked. I was disquieted. Then I was contacted by two separate members of his crew. They're wrapping up the filming of Machete right now. Both of these individuals are Hispanic. I had never talked to them before, but I made calls and they do work for him and they are freaked out. They are scared because they're intelligent and they understand what's going on and they're worried about the backlash against the Hispanic community. These phone calls really creep me out. Supposedly the film is even worse than the trailer. The trailer calls for race war. We didn't cross the border. The border crossed us. The trailer frames white people as all being racist and hating Hispanics and armies of Mexicans running around with machetes hacking up white people, which was actually something that was planned and carried out uh, during the World War I period, it was called the Plan of San Diego, and that really hurt Anglo and Hispanic relations in the state that had always been pretty good. The German government fooled a bunch of Mexicans on the Mexican side of the border and on the Texas side to go out and kill a bunch of white people, 20 plus in one night. Manson style. Plan of San Diego is what it's called. Google it. You'll read about it at major universities. And that's all this is. I'm watching a film calling for the Plan of San Diego. Robert Rodriguez, you need to really think about what you've done. Do you understand that you politically put yourself in the criminal zone, potentially, if violence breaks out from this film, when you had the lead actor who plays Machete get up there and powerfully invoke racial conflict when he said, this is Machete with a Cinco de Mayo message for Arizona. Well, Arizona's going to get your message. Don't worry. And when people carry out acts of violence, it's going to cause a massive backlash that you're not going to be able to turn around. And that's exactly why the globalist, the people that ran the British Empire, they know how to play groups off against each other, have set this whole thing up. And don't worry, Fox that's financing it knows exactly what's going to happen. They're going to make a boatload of money, and you're going to be known for the guy that potentially sparked a race war in this country. It's going to intimidate Hispanic Americans to feel like they're not part of America to feel like uh, that, that they've got to join the La Raza or Mecha movement that was funded by the CIA and the Liberation Theology Schools to create division. They want the American people fighting with each other. 
They want the American people at each other's throats. The system is invoking race war and racial division. This is meant to destabilize the United States so the Pentagon has a pretext to come in with the NORTHCOM program. And if you don't know what NORTHCOM is, Mr. Rodriguez, you better find out about it. The globalists want divide and conquer. They want to play us off against each other. And it's because people in Arizona and Texas and California have learned about Mecha and La Raza and all these racist groups, and because they found out how mainstream it is, almost all the liberal white yuppies I know are waking up. And Hispanic members of your crew, high level, have contacted me because they're intelligent and they know this is going to hurt Hispanics. Imagine a film where the white people are the bad guys and where mobs of illegal aliens hack them up with machetes. And it's all done where the whites are all racist and they deserve it and they're conniving and evil and sneaky. I've watched Nazi propaganda films. Exact same thing, but about Jews. Anybody watching this who's sitting there going, shut up, puto, shut up, white bread, shut up, you know, gringo, all this crap, you're no better than the white supremacist and the Ku Klux Klan. Rodriguez, if you want to make a really radical film, why don't you make a film with some folk hero like Machete standing up in Yucatan or in Chiapas against tyranny and standing up against real corruption and oppression so Mexico can become a sovereign country. It's got triple the wealth the United States has. Why don't you actually find out about how Hispanics are getting diabetes more than any other group or how there's cancer viruses in the vaccines? or what the toxins in the water supply are doing to the population, or how they're setting up Planned Parenthood abortuaries to kill Hispanic children. Oh, you don't actually really care about that because it's liberal and sexy to be for abortion. You don't care if tens of millions of your people have been killed. Well, I care about those innocent Hispanic children. No, you've been given the green light to create a race riot film, to create division in this nation so the globalists can play whites and Hispanics and others off against each other. What you're doing is ensuring the fall of this country. If there are racial killings, and there's a very good chance there's going to be, you're not going to be able to spin your way out of this, pal. And this is a setup. This is meant for a political crackdown on Hispanics. You're being played. You're being controlled. If cities burn, Mr. Rodriguez, it's going to be blamed on you.